Going through airport security is usually a chore most of the time. You have to fight through a maze of people and still get patted down by security officials before you board your flight. Considering how stressful it can get, it's easy for you to ask, is all the hassle of airport security even worth it? Well, the answer to that is a resounding hell yeah. He might not have anything questionable in your luggage, but that doesn't necessarily mean everyone else trying to get on board is as rational as you are. In this video, we'll shed a spotlight on these people. From exotic animals to human skulls, you won't believe what some people have tried to get past airport security. Let us begin. Number 20. Snakes and Birds We're starting out our ranking with something truly strange. I mean, I know many of us love having our pets with us when we travel, but I don't think anyone could have prepared the security officials for this one. Back in the year 2007, airport security operatives at the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport were stunned when they inspected the luggage of a man flying in from South Korea, only to find 30 dead snakes. The man, whose name wasn't given, had apparently placed the snakes inside jars, and even worse, they were also several birds in his luggage too. Even though the snakes he was carrying were pretty much lifeless, officials had to be extra careful with them because they could still contain venom. After a brief, nerve-wracking period, they managed to get the snakes to a secure location. As for the man himself, he was eventually fined 800 bones and given two citations since he had been taking exotic animals across countries without declaring them. No one knew what the man planned to do with them there, snakes, although some believe he could have just been transporting them for medicinal purposes. Whatever the reason, I'm just glad he was caught, I guess. Number 19, iPhone 94. Okay. Back in 2014, officials at an airport in China were treated to quite the sight when they busted a guy trying to move 94 iPhones, oh I get it, through the airport and into the country. The man, who was confirmed to have flown in from Hong Kong, had quite an interesting way of smuggling these devices though. Instead of putting them in a bag or finding some fancy way of slipping through, he simply strapped them onto his body like a bloody coat. No, I'm not joking. Uh, this guy literally took all 94 iPhones, strapped them onto his body, and covered the entire thing in some cello tape. I'm telling you, it was as silly as you think it was. According to airport officials, they had sighted the guy from like a mile away and decided to observe him after noticing that he was walking weirdly. It was after he was carrying a really heavy weight, even though he didn't have much luggage on him. After they searched his bag, they decided to tell him to go through a metal detector, and that's when the jig was up. The rookie smuggler eventually was detained, although I'm pretty sure officials had a field day trying to get all those iPhones off his body. Number 18. Smoke Grenades It's common knowledge that you shouldn't take weapons to an airport. Hell, it's one of the main reasons why airport security even exists. Apparently, a man traveling from Newark Airport to the Dominican Republic back in 2019 didn't seem to get that memo. This guy was apprehended by TSA agents after they found some weird items in his bag and it was going through scanners. When they opened the bag and ran through search, they were shocked to find not one, not two, not three, not four, not even five, but six smoke grenades. The grenades had been properly wrapped and hidden deep in the bowels of the bag. Apparently, our guy just thought he could slip through security while packing significant heat. Even more interesting was the fact that the guy wasn't arrested. According to those TSA officials, grenades weren't exactly illegal. So they simply told him to hand them over to his friend before he can get on the plane. I find it pretty hard to believe that no one was even suspicious about what a man would want to do in another country with six grenades. Number 17, a dead body. Mm. Normally, airports and airliners have accommodations for people who want to move dead bodies between countries. However, a pair of ladies drew headlines when they seemingly thought they could skip the cargo fees altogether. Back in old 2012, a mother and daughter were detained by airport officials at the John Lennon Airport in Liverpool after they were found to have been carrying a dead man through the facility. The 91-year-old man, who was later identified as Kurt Willie Gerrant, was importantly strapped onto his wheelchair and carried around by his wife, Gita, and daughter, Anke, who were looking to board an easy jet flight to Berlin with his body. Airport officials explained that they noticed Kurt's body, complete with hat and sunglasses, wasn't moving. The motionless body was also slumped to one side, causing further suspicion that he was, in fact, dead. 
When the family were eventually stopped for questioning, airport officials confirmed that he was indeed deceased. The mother and daughter were adamant that they were, had done nothing wrong and they didn't know that Kurt had died while they were transporting him. Mm -hmm. But their people say it's not right. No, they don't not have witnesses. They saw him alive. Medicina, How can he be dead? Not but an airport worker who had helped to carry his body from a taxi claimed that he had seen Kurt's face and he knew he was dead. When a doctor was called to the scene, he confirmed that Kurt was actually dead for at least a day. Yeah, the jig's up, ladies. Number 16, 51 Tropical Fish When you're visiting another country, it's understandable that you might want to take a few local foods along with you. However, I don't think this woman's method was quite the way to go. Captured back in the year of our Lord 2005, a woman had been traveling from Singapore, was stopped at a southern Melbourne airport after airport officials heard some flapping around sounds when she was walking by. They took a quick search for her, and they were shocked to find out that she had built a special apron into her skirt where she held about 51 tropical fishes. An even crazier twist, the fishes were actually still alive. Apparently, the woman had placed them in small bags, filled them with water, and tied them with rubber bands. This way, they could survive the long flight. I'm pretty sure the water was what was making that flapping sound. Or maybe Air Force officials just got tipped off by the way she was walking. To be fair, I don't quite understand the logistics of this one. How on earth did the woman think she'd be able to smuggle all those fishies on her own? Man, some people have some crazy imaginations for sure. Number 15. Human Skulls Think a person carrying a dead body through an airport was terrible? Well, try being the person caught trying to smuggle an actual human skull. In 2023, officials at an airport in Mexico raised an alarm after discovering a bag at an airport containing four human skulls, not one. Heading to the United States, take a look. Those are four real human skulls. Not two, not three, but four. According to reports, the skulls had been wrapped in aluminum foil and placed in a cardboard box. The entire package, as well as other few items in the bag, was set to be delivered via the airport to a destination in South Carolina. Who owned the box? Why they were sending human skulls like a FedEx package? We may never know. As members of the Mexican National Guard explained, it didn't really matter what the skulls were supposed to be used for. They would hold on to them, and this transport method violated the country's laws, so they were never going to give them back. Number 14, a tiger cub. When it comes to exotic animals, tigers are among the most popular. However, I really wonder how this person planned to pull off this smuggle without a hitch. Recorded back in 2010, the case involved a woman who was arrested at an airport in Bangkok after she was found to put a live tiger cub in her suitcase. The woman, who was confirmed to have been from Thailand, has apparently looking to board a flight to Iran. She had the tiger zipped up in her bag along with a stuffed tiger and several other kids' toys. Maybe she thought the stuffed tiger would fool airport officials into thinking the real one was also fake, but they're not as dumb as she thought they were. They unzipped the bag and found the animal just in there. As crazy as this story sounds, it really just like to thank the airport official who actually opened the bag. Imagine thinking you're just having a normal day at the old office only to unzip a bag and have a friggin' tiger jumping out at you. Rough day at the office, right? Thank goodness it wasn't even a bigger one. Number 13. Severed Heads In the year of our Lord 2010, employees of Southwest Airlines at an airport in Little Rock, Arkansas, got what would probably be the shock of their lives when they opened a suspicious-looking package, only to find several severed heads and head parts inside. The stunning discovery included about 60 severed heads. 60?! as well as different other head parts, like eyes and ears. According to the officials that had been wrapped in duct tape and were sent to be delivered to Texas, officials working for Southwest Airlines eventually went on to investigate the findings, and they found that the heads had actually been medical specimens. The only problem was that they had been wrongly packaged, leading to the mix-up that I'm pretty sure must have startled the airline's employees. There was not a, there was not a box of, of heads that was not appropriately taken care of or that was not uh, put uh, packaged in the correct way. There was an administrative clerical error at the airport. Nevertheless, Southwest failed to ship the specimens as they hadn't been properly packaged, duh, and put on ice. Looks like a clerical staff error. Must have gotten a huge citation for that. 
Number 12. Live Spiders Personally, I absolutely abhor spiders. Those creepy little crawly animals just find a way to scare the living daylights out of me all the time. But it appears that someone traveling from Columbia back in 2022 found them a delight. According to reports, officials in an airport in Bogota were surprised when they, they cracked open a suspicious-looking suitcase that discovered that was filled with 143 live spiders. Officials claimed that they had been monitoring the bag for a while, and they placed it on their scanners that made a shocking discovery. The spiders had been placed individually in their plastic bags to preserve them, with an entire bag being sent from Mexico. Nevertheless, because they had pretty much been denied any air, about 12 of the spiders had already died by the time they were found. They were eventually transferred to a local animal care center for proper care and handling since authorities couldn't find the smuggler who was transporting them. Number 11. Migrants and a Mattress Now, it's no secret that many people try their best every now and then to leave their countries and start new lives abroad. However, while the conventional way to do that would be to get a visa, some people tend to just migrate illegally. Our next example shows how extreme some of these people take their attempts. Back in 2018, members of the Spanish Civil Guard were going through airport cargo when they discovered two mattresses that seemed uh, just a little suspicious. They decided to investigate the strange beddings and were surprised to find two African migrants inside them. Oh, oh. Amigo, para el motor. After extensive questioning, the men explained that they had been looking to cross into Spain from Morocco. They added that they even paid about 5100 bucks to a human trafficker to help handle their transits, although, sadly, they were intercepted before the mission could be successful. The story is quite a heartbreaking one. Thousands of people do this every year, seemingly looking to leave their homes in search of greener pastures and better lives. Number 10. A Meth-Infused Burrito you know, airport food can be pretty terrible and overpriced as well. I mean, who wants to pay $17 for a hamburger, right? So for the most of us who fly, we just prefer to bring our own food. Well, this guy definitely got the right stuff. In April 2021, TSA agents at Hobby Airport in Houston arrested a traveler after discovering that he had been packing much more than just a Happy Meal. The suspect, a middle-aged man, appeared to have been munching down on his meal, but eagle-eyed TSA agents came to the rescue and noted that his burrito looked a little bit weird. Drawing to the unusual size of the breakfast, the agents decided to inspect it. Still, the traveler was adamant that it was just a burrito, nothing more, and after a search, officials found the package contained something wrapped inside black duct tape. And it was there that they found out that the guy's meal contained more than just the popular Mexican cuisine of a burrito. Rather, what was wrapped in black duct tape beside the meal was a significant amount of methamphetamine. Good luck on trying to explain that one, bud. Number 9. An Alligator in October of 2022, a man traveling to Singapore for Munich Airport had a lot of explaining to do when airport officials opened a suitcase only to find an old alligator. The unidentified man, who was reportedly a 42-year-old American, had allegedly placed his bag on the conveyor belt like everyone else. However, those airport officials found a strange image in the bag when they were scanning it. Custom officials carefully opened this bag and were terrified to confirm their suspicions. Our guy was carrying a rare albino alligator in his luggage. The old three-foot gator was still alive, although the man had tied up in saran wrap and only left it with a single hole to breathe through. Officials eventually got a vet who was able to free the little guy, and it was eventually set off into a reptile sanctuary. No one really knew why the man was carrying an alligator through an airport where he got it from, but uh, it's pretty obvious that he wasn't authorized to carry it. Duh. He was eventually charged while our gator got out happily ever after. Number 8. A Cocaine-Filled Hair Piece Hmm. Most people who try to smuggle illegal drugs through airports tend to look for the cleverest and sneakiest way to do so. However, this man had a scheme so lazy, you'd wonder, who gave him his smuggler's license? The man, who was captured at an airport in Barcelona back in 2019, was tagged after airport officials noticed that something's going on with him. He had pretty much been acting strange since he showed up, and officials noticed that his hair had an unusual height to it. You know what comes next. Time to bust someone. The guy was eventually called in for questioning, and after a quick examination, airport officials found out that he was wearing a wig. They took that rug off immediately, and they found a half kilo of cocaine in it. Talk about a bad hair day. 
<laughs> Our guy was taken into custody, although I'm sure officials would still be combing the area for additional clues. <laughs> See what I did there? Number seven, moose droppings. Hmm. If you're going on a trip to Alaska, I'd expect you to come back with stories about how cold it was, or maybe even a t-shirt. Who knows? However, one man back in 2019, well, he decided to come back with quite a smelly memento. According to a post by the TSA at the time, a man was apprehended at the Juneau airport after he was caught trying to pass through security with an unusually large bag. Security officials took to the bag to have a look-see and they found what was filled with moose droppings. Passenger told security officials he was trying to make the moose nuggets back home to politicians who policies he disagreed with. So, interestingly, the TSA didn't do anything to the guy. While they caught him, they just let him go and board the plane anyway because no laws prevented transportation of moose poop by air. All right. Number six, Nubbins Sawyer. Remember the popular movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2? It was, and remains... One of the most iconic horror movies of all time. However, one airport passenger decided to show his love for the character of Nubbin Sawyer in the movie by taking a prop of him through airport security. The case, which was reported back in 2016, happened at an airport in Atlanta. At the time, a man named Jason Guy had purchased a prop used to portray Nubbins in the iconic horror film. He was looking to take it back home. And as you'd expect, he'd had to check it at the airport. Imagine that you're at the airport check-in, you're trying to get your stuff through the conveyor belt, you lift your head and you see this corpse just going through the scanner like it's nothing. Yeah, creepy. Jason, who owns several memorabilia from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, they explained that it was just a prop. I can only imagine how others at the airport must have felt watching the guy drag nubbins along the arrivals hall. Number five, a rocket launcher. For our next entry, we have a discovery that's quite explosive. In 2019, a man was held for questioning after he arrived at the Baltimore-slash-Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. Our sergeant's luggage was checked, and TSA officials found out that it contained a rocket launcher tube. Why would he bring this strange device as a souvenir? Well, your guess is as good as mine. However, he claimed to have been an active military member, and that he was bringing the rocket launcher as a souvenir after a trip from Kuwait. Even though he said that he was a member of the military, our guy was denied entry into his aircraft. The tube had no explosives, but the TSA agents explained that they couldn't let it into the plane because if they let one person on with a non-explosive rocket launcher tube, they'll have to let everybody on with a non-explosive rocket launcher tube. Number four, a cocaine baby bump. Drug smuggling ain't a game for the faint-hearted. Tabitha Ritchie, a woman from Canada, had to learn that the hard way after she was caught holding two kilos of cocaine back in the year of our Lord 2013. Tabitha was traveling back home from Bogota at the time and she needed a way to transport her coke. So she devised a rather uh, clever plan, I guess. She created a fake baby bump, wrapped the cocaine inside latex and dumped it inside the bump. Hey, after all, no one's going to be hard on a pregnant woman, right? Tabitha's plan was actually quite slick. However, our airport officials noticed that her bump was kind of unusual and hard and cold and lumpy, so they decided to inspect it, and the jig was pretty much up. Top marks for creativity, though. I'm pretty sure she got a bright future in the smuggling business. Number three, Freddy Krueger prop. I'm not sure if there's a connection between horror movie fans and trying to take props from their favorite projects through airports, but this is a pretty interesting trend. Back in 2018, someone made a prop of Freddy Krueger's weapon from the movie A Nightmare on Elm Street and took it with them as they were flying from Hartsford, Jackson, Atlanta International Airport. The person apparently had the famous arm stashed inside a carry-on bag and placed it in the seat in front of them, but TSA officials eventually found and confiscated it. The TSA even shared an image of the prop on their Instagram account encouraging people to pack their razor gloves and checked bags if they need to travel with them. Number two, Abu. Human trafficking can be a very terrible thing. Very, very true. It's terrible. To give you an idea of how bad, check out this story. In 2015, airport officials in Spain were inspecting a woman's luggage after she was acting rather suspiciously. They put her luggage through the scanners and they were shocked to find a little boy inside, lying in a fetal position. The eight-year-old boy, whose name was confirmed to be Abu, was reportedly being smuggled from Morocco to Ceuta, a little Spanish enclave. 
It's unclear who the woman was or where she was taking the little boy, but thank goodness he was found by the security. Abu was eventually reunited with his parents, and I'm sure the traffickers got what they deserved. Number 1. Gold Bars If discoveries like these are what airport securities officials find daily and think it might be switching professions, in 2013, a Boeing jet had landed at an airport in India was going through its routine cleaning and maintenance when a staff member found something astonishing. Stashed in the plane's toilet were two bags filled with 24 gold bars. Airport officials had initially thought the bags contained explosives, however, once they were opened, the officials were astonished to find 53 pounds of real gold. An appraisal pegged the bars worth a staggering 1.2 million. Sheesh! Looks like I'll be inspecting the toilets next time I fly. It's pretty easy to think that working as an airport security official would be boring, but if these discoveries are anything to go by, that job is anything but dull. I mean, a multi-million dollar payday wouldn't hurt right now, would it? See anything strange at an airport you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments.